All right, y'all. It's your girl, Firestarter, from the World Famous Vertical Joes. And guess what? It is day two of the Torquingo Challenge. And all you need is a soft space for your knees to rest and a waist wrap. And be sure that you stretch before you get into these exercises, all right? For those of you who are just joining us, we are starting our Torquingo 6 Challenge, which means we have this bingo card. And the bingo card got twerk moves on it. And uh, you, you watch the moves and you mark them off on your your bingo card once you post them on the interwebs and if you stick with us through the end of the challenge you sh could and should win a little something something all right so with that said let's get right into it all right for those of you who want a bit more detail make sure that y'all purchase our twerk on demand it's only nine 99 okay and it includes a variety of different videos including tutorials uh that are in-depth and detail of what we are doing in twerkingo all right so with that said let's get into it i'm going to show you how to do the high salt shaker all right so of course this is torque centric which means that you will need a soft space for your knees okay a waist wrap and be sure that you have stretched uh before getting into this combination now the high salt shaker means that we are still going to be using our classic salt shaker so if you don't know the salt shaker be sure to check out our video on how to do the salt shaker because it's going to be important for you to use it for these exercises um in twerk centric when we are kneeling it is our highest point because twerk centric is done uh pretty much all kneeling so a high salt shaker would mean that i would be in this kneeling position all right and my butt is going to shake down 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 okay and i want to think about keeping my knees out and my chest up and i still have to think about that arch round action while my arms are up in the position so with that said let's talk about this i'm here kneeling down my feet and ankles are relaxed it's going to be a personal preference where they are think about shaking down 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 without crunching forward to where it turns into a hump down 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 you see the difference between down 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 and down 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 you see it's no thrust down 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 so when you're kneeling be sure that your butt is still loose if your butt is tight, it's going to be harder for you to get the down, 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 down. Okay. But of course, once you actually have the rhythm of the down, 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 you can be as upright as you want and still nail the position. So although it looks like I'm going forward um, here, yeah, it's not forward. It's down. So I want to make sure I don't go so far forward that it looks like a thrust. Does it make sense? So it shouldn't look like this. See, this is what we're looking for. This is what we're looking for. Yeah, let's take a look from the back. All right, so here I am kneeling. So this is our high salt shaker. Down, 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 okay? Um, we like to put our arms up or out. So you can really appreciate that waistline and nothing else should really be moving okay and if you're like um me i have a lot of mid booty so when i'm in a position like this it always starts to ride my waist wrap up okay so you see me constantly sometimes pulling it down because the movement brings it up but here's your salt shaker down 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 all right now if you're doing it right thighs should be burning okay back should be working abs should be working as well because nothing um but like working through like a, a kneeling uh squat like a glute exercise you know so it should be a one with practice some people do this with ease naturally um, and some people have to work, but either way in torque centric, you're going to find something that is going to cause you to put in a little bit more work. So practice that. Just put on a song, uh, do it for 30 seconds. When you get used to that, 
um, maybe three rounds of 30 seconds, okay? And when you get used to that, try doing your high salt shaker for a whole song, all right? So there we go. So if you see high salt shaker or kneeling salt shaker, um, you want to mark that off on your bingo card, all right? So with that said, ah, give it a go. I want to see.